Hi guys and welcome back again to the tech to youtube channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Astrox new motherboard model with the embedded Intel CPU on it, that this time being the Bay Trail successor, the 14 nanometer Braswell. The particular model of the CPU in question is the quad-core Intel Pentium N3700 and based on it, Astrock made the name for this motherboard model, the N3700 ITX. Yes, this is an ITX form factor motherboard, making it suitable for HTPC or small office build, especially in conjunction with this CPU. As you can see from the front of the box, the motherboard is pretty feature packed and going to the back side of it you'll find a more detailed overview of features for this model, like hardware support for H.265 video codec and 4K resolution, triple monitor support, use of ELNA audio caps, while alongside of that we have some technical specifications for the motherboard listed out. Opening up the box you'll find the usual user manual and optical disc with drivers and software, two SATA cables and an IO shield, and here's the motherboard itself. Design-wise, the motherboard is visually pretty much the same as some other solutions that we had a chance to see from Astrock, one being our unboxing of the J2900 ITX model, which is also an embedded-based product. Here you can notice that familiar black and silver color combo and similar component layout. The bigger part of the motherboard is dominated by this passive heatsink, which cools down the CPU without any noise, and surrounding it we have the 24-pin ATX power connector as a single power input for the motherboard and two SADIM RAM slots for up to 16GB of low or non-low voltage memory. From PCI Express slots you'll find just one X1 Gen 2 slot for adding cards like additional network controller, although you could also probably utilize it with a dedicated graphics card if you get yourself an X1 to X16 slot adapter. That would be an interesting thing to see for example on GTX 960 working together with this Pentium N3700 CPU, I will definitely try to make that happen in the near future. Going further around the motherboard you'll encounter some usual onboard connectors like four SATA 3 ports, USB 3 header, front panel header, audio header, fan headers and a half size mini PCI Express slot for Wi-Fi module or an SSD. Backside of the motherboard reveals a pretty decent input-output layout of ports, supporting two USB 2 ports, one PS2 combo jack port, DVI-D display port and HDMI for video outputs, four USB 3 ports, gigabit LAN jack and digital analog audio inputs and outputs. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and preview of the Astrock N3700 ITX motherboard. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.